The thing that most impressed me about this story was that her husband was an illustrator for a department store here in New Jersey. Haynes. Haynes, right. And each envelope of these love letters was a work of art. That's amazing. It really is. There's lots of talented people in Ocean County of all ages, and we've had a chance to see some very gifted people. And this next story happens to be about a group of uh, church women who get together and they write some pretty amazing stories. Oh, thanks. I drink it. We don't open until tomorrow night. <laughs> killer and you have a, well you have a heroine or hero, hero or whatever and then you have the murder suspect by the time you get do, through the story and the actual murder and the reason that you're reading the mystery it, it doesn't lend to reading the characters because one of the ways we stretched ourselves was actually learning to think like a man right since mm -hmm. there's no men in the group right mm -hmm. and that was uh, challenging right for me anyway I don't know about mm -hmm. for the rest of you the Writers Guild started out as a weekly get-together for a group of women who just wanted to prepare their own life histories for their families. But it has since evolved into a sort of an author's consortium. The women have written everything from histories to children's books. The mystery novel is actually the fifth book that the Guild has prepared in just four years. Uh, some friends and I went out to lunch one day and um, we started talking about writing our life histories. A friend of mine in Florida actually teaches a class. And so I started talking about that and we looked at each other and we said, well, we could do that. So I got information back from her. I got all her handouts. I bought tons of books. I went on the internet, did tons of research and we started writing our own personal life histories and that was in 2005. And um, there were about eight of us at the time. Two have left since and two have joined, so we're still eight. And that's pretty much how we got started. Well, I'm the oldest one in the group and we have uh, people in the group that are young enough to be my children. And uh, it's wonderful finding these experiences together I've written a lot. I've written since uh, I wrote poetry during World War II. And uh, I had done my own biography. And when uh, Elaine decided to form the group, I thought, well, I've done mine, but I've got to learn something new every day. So I joined and I've rewritten my biography up to where we left off before we started this mystery. And uh, it's been a wonderful experience learning something new all the time and having the camaraderie that we have. To all the naysayers who believe that the great American novel cannot be written by committee, well, don't tell that to the eight women of the Emanuel Lutheran Church Writers Guild. They'll politely disagree and tell you that their novel is well on its way to being a bestseller. Well, we started writing a mystery novel because one of our uh, members thought that it would make a good story, thought a writing prompt that we had found would make a good story. So we said, okay, Karen, go for it. So the next meeting, we were meeting every week, the next meeting she came back with the beginning of a story. And it was focused on the Jersey Shore and we thought that was great and it was a young woman. We finally decided that it would be a murder mystery. We, didn't, we knew that Mark was murdered because Karen started that, the book out that way. We, we try to kill people off nicely. You know, it's because none of us really like the gore and stuff, so then it's a matter of just figuring out how we can actually nicely kill somebody off. And it got to the point with the story where we had too many characters, so we had to start killing a whole bunch of them off. So then it was like, well, how are we going to kill this one off and that one off? Oh, yeah, the next person will take care of it because 
since we finished our chapter, we just handed it to the next person. It was their problem. And then the next week we'd find out how they managed to do it. We'd say, oh, that was a good idea. And then we'd hand it to the next person. So, so every day is an, every week th that we met was a new adventure. And it was like reading a novel or reading a story. And every time somebody got together, you knew the next chapter because you didn't know it before, when you left. And I found it a learning experience. I was um, not that interested in moving the story along, so I was kind of a maverick, I guess. I found that I was comfortable um, developing and uh, fleshing out characters, and I uh, found I was comfortable doing that, and um, I learned a lot about myself. We did some research, found out that, you know, the way a writer is supposed to write, you're supposed to have an outline and you're supposed to know your characters. And we didn't do any of that uh, because it was just too much fun for us coming in and finding out what happened the next time was just so exciting. Now the Emanuel Lutheran Church Writers Guild is continuing to work on finding a publisher for the Sandcastle Mysteries. They're confident they have a bestseller on their hands. In fact, they're already planning the sequel. For Emanuel Lutheran Church, I'm Don Malagia. You just stay right where you are. We're gonna check on you. You'll probably get light for this. <laughs>